Hello YouTube! Welcome to a new episode of my tips and tricks series. Today we talk about the small blade. The small blade is probably the most underrated tool on your pocket knife. But if you carve wood, this is your main blade because the small blade has a lot of advantages over the big blade. First advantage, the small blade is usually sharper than the big blade because nobody uses it. Second advantage, if you look at the spine, you will find out that the small blade, the spine of the small blade is a lot thinner than the spine at the, at the big blade. That means you will have less resistance while carving if you use the small blade. Third advantage, with the small blade you can carve tighter turns because the blade is less high in this dimension. When I try to carve, this radius with the big blade, the side of the blade will touch the start of the radius and at the end it's more scratching than cutting. And if I take a bigger knife like this, it's worse than with the big blade. So that's mean with the small blade you're much more agile for calf tight turns. Specific carving knives like this or this have a tapered point. With this tapered point you are able to cut very precise and to cut a very narrow radius. If you often carve such small things, you can also modify your small blade like this. For making this blade, I took away this part with the grinding machine and then I took my Lansky grinding set for making a new edge. The fourth advantage. I speak with the experience of more than 300 carving workshops. With the small blade happens significantly less cutting accidents than with the big blade because special beginners and, and kids have the small blade better under control than the big blade. They carve much better with the small blade because they carve closer to the hand. That means they have a better power transmission and they have the better control. If you carve with the big blade at the end of the blade, on the middle of the blade, you have a, always a big leverage between the hand and the wood. And this makes that your wrist bend backwards by every cut. And if you carve here very close to the hand, you have more power and more control. When I carve, I use the big blade only when I can pull through the cut with full power. And this is when I make a tip like this or when I carve a flat. I can pull through the cut with full power. For the rest I use the small blade. I would say I use the small blade about 80% and the big blade about 20%. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope I can count on you on the next video again. See you. Bye bye.